Minnesotans are watching. They're watching what's happening in this chamber and in Minnesota at this point in time. It is not the time to be playing with rules and not debating the ideas that come from this body. So yes, maybe we intentionally had a bill to Senator Limmer's point that's only 12 lines, which the bulk of it, I can read it for the public to understand exactly what this bill does. And I quote, six million each year is to support and strengthen law enforcement training and implement best practices, period. That's the bill. If we intend to change and reform the post board with training that, to Senator Ralph's point, works, three lines, if that is not going to do it. Mr. President and members, let's have the debate on the merits of what needs to be that training and that best practice, because $6 million is not going to solve it. The language matters, and the bill that Senator Torres Ray is presenting is talking about what the community wants to see in the training and best practice. So if we're here to, and I actually was looking at all the bills that we introduced, one of them is three sentences, the one we just talked about. One of them is four sentences. Another one is two paragraphs. Another one is just one section. If that's gonna be the reform that's gonna bring justice to the killing of George Floyd, I am sorry. You can go to bed in peace, but I will not. This is a travesty of this procedure, of what we're doing today here in special session, of what brought us here. So members, if you don't want to debate a bill, just vote against it. But this is the time we have. We had an informational. No amendments allowed. That's, the, what, that, that's what the public got, an informational hearing on these bills. This is a disgrace, and I'm going to call it out, because this is an injustice to this procedure. So members, go ahead with your motions to call something undermane or germane or whatnot. Play the political games that people are tired of hearing. You will reap the consequences in November because that's not what is expected of us in this time in Minnesota and in this, in this chamber. So Senator Limber, maybe you can find something there that you would like that would be something appropriate to so something that your caucus would support. But don't shut the debate down and stop shutting us down. We may be wearing masks, but we are not going to be quiet. So members, please, please vote your conscience um, in the next remaining bills, or maybe we'll get out of here pretty quickly, because all we're going to have is a few bills of not real reform. And for the record, I stand for public safety. I'm the chief author, uh, author of a bill to fund a public safety training facility in my district, which thank you for including that, in, and apparently that's not controversial. I want our law enforcement to have what they need, the right training, the right resources, but just throwing money with a blank check without telling them how to spend it and the reforms that we need so that another George Floyd does not happen here or anywhere is what we need. So I'm, I'm not gonna stand here for the duration of this proceeding and not call that out. So keep asking for your point of, of germaneness, but uh, I'm not buying it and neither is the public. So hopefully, Mr. President, you take that into consideration, but I somehow know the ruling of this particular point of order. Thank you.